Bearings are a way of measuring the direction between two points. We always measure bearings clockwise from north with three figures. For example, if I wanted to measure the bearing of beef me, let's notice first that these are north arrows. Okay, so the arrows on A and B are both pointing north. What we do is we get a we get our ruler first of all, and we're going to join up A and B. So I'm just going to draw a straight line which joins up points A and B. Like that. And what I'm going to do then is get my protractor. And because I want the bearing of B from A, I need to start at A. So I'm going to put my protractor exactly so the zero is lined up with the north arrow on A. And then I need to measure clockwise. So if I follow the outside of the, uh, of the protractor, because I'm going clockwise, we can see that the angle between the north arrow from A and between the line that joins A and B is 62 degrees. So we're going to say the bearing of B from A is 0, 6, 2 degrees. Okay, you need three figures for bearings. So if it's an acute angle, you need to um, use 0, 6, 2. Same if it's a right angle, 0, 90. So 0, 6, 2 degrees is the bearing of B from A. Here's another example. We want to measure the bearing of B from C. So I'm first of all going to draw a straight line between A and B. So let's do that. So there we go. So I've got a straight line between B and C. It's a little bit neater actually. There we go. Right, so there's my straight line between B and C. Because I want the bearing of B from C, I need to start from C. Basically, I need to start measuring clockwise from C. So there are two ways of doing this. The way I like to do it is I will measure the angle inside here, this interior angle. And because angles in a straight line, at, because angles around a point add up to 360, if I want this angle here in red, which is what I do want, if I take away the angle on the inside from 360, I'll get exactly the bearing that I want. So let's measure this interior angle first of all. So, so again, start from zero. There we go. Right, so the interior angle is... Um, right, 125. Right, so the interior angle is 125. So this is 125. So to get the red exterior angle, which is the actual bearing, I take away from 360. So I could do 360, take away 125, and I end up with 235. So the bearing of B from C is 235 degrees. But you could also do it this way, some people prefer this, um, where basically you just measure the additional distance um, when you go from 180. So if you put the protractor lined up with C, but like this, we know there's 180 here. You can draw a little straight line going down from C. So you could draw a straight line down from C. Like that. You can measure the interior angle here. So that is 55 degrees. And you could add that on to 180. 
because this is 180 here so you can add on the 55 that way and that would also give you 235 you also might have to draw a bearing so point B is on a bearing of 50 degrees from point A draw the locus of points on which B lies basically that's saying draw a straight line and B could be anywhere on that straight line so what we could do what we could start with is draw in a 50 degree angle from A so let's do that okay right so there you go so what I can do now is mark 50 degrees clockwise from A so that's going to be here so let's draw a little dot for myself now I can remove my protractor and draw a straight line through A and that dot that I've just drawn. There you go, I'm just going to keep carry it on. And basically, B it could be anywhere on that red line. So that is the locus of points on which B lies. Finally, um, point Y is on a bearing of 220 degrees from point X and is 10 centimeters away from X. Draw the position of line, uh, of point Y that should be. So point Y is on a bearing of 220 degrees from point X and is 10 centimeters away from X. And we want to draw the position of point Y. So what we need to do first is draw the bearing of 220 degrees. So just move us along. So first of all, you want to draw 220 degrees from point X. So what we could do is we put our protractor on X like that. Well, straight down would be 180, so we need to carry this on. So, let me just draw a straight line down from X. There we go. Right, if I have 180, to get to 220, I would need to add 30. So I need to go 30 degrees more clockwise than this. Let's do that. So I've got, there we go. That's going to be 30 degrees extra. And now I can draw a little point to myself. So here, there we go. And draw a straight line. Now, Point Y is 10 centimeters away. Okay, so I can see I've got the 10 centimeter part on X and then zero centimeters down here, and it's going through the point. So now I need to join up and draw the 10 centimeter line. There we go. And Y is going to be on the end of the line here. So what I can do is just do a little cross at the end of that line and say that is point Y. Here's a question for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go. And when you're ready for the answer, press play. Here is the answer. So we should get AC to be 5.2 centimeters or thereabouts. You may get questions where you're expected to use angle facts rather Okay, so if we remember our parallel line properties, because the north arrows on A and B are obviously going to be parallel because north is the same direction. Remember that if I have two parallel lines, a line that cuts through them, the interior angles that are formed add up to 180 degrees, okay? Co-interior angles. So if this angle is 40, to calculate this angle, Right, this angle here, I would just do 180 take away 40, which is 140. So to get the red angle, I need to do 360 take away 140, which is 
which is 220 degrees. So that is the bearing of A from B. Okay, so if we look at this example here, find the bearing of A from B and then of B from A. So in this example, if I want the bearing of A from B, that's going to be this angle here. So joining A and B like that. So to work that out, I would do 360 take away 125. Which should be 235 degrees. And then the bearing of B from A, well, if it's from A, I need to draw a north arrow on A. And it's going to be this angle here. And it's the same idea again. We have two parallel lines, the north arrow at B and the north arrow at A. And the angles and sides need to add up to 180 degrees. So to work out the uh, bearing of B from A, I do 180 take away 125. It's going clockwise from A, so we don't need to change it. We just need to put a zero in front. So that would be 055 degrees. Here's a question for you to try. Please pause the video now and have a go. And when you're ready for the answer, press play. Here's the answer. So the bearing of A from B is 250 degrees. Find the bearing of B from A. So let's draw a north arrow on A. North arrows are parallel. Now, if the reflex angle here is 250, the interior angle is going to be 360. Take away that which is just going to be 110. So this angle here needs to add up with 110 to 180, so that's 70. So the bearing of B from A is going to be 070.